We wanted to know, why do astronauts need good teeth? Ik zou het niet weten. Ik zou juist zeggen van niet, die krijgt toch alleen maar vloeibaar voedsel en zo. De snelheid waarmee je gaat, ik weet het niet. Oh, ik denk dat in de ruimte de omstandigheden anders zijn en dat je botten moet koken. Die tanden daar op slecht, hele slecht worden. Because it's the weightless and uh, there's no traction between the food and the teeth. So I think um, it will be very hard, very difficult to make the food uh, digestible in, in, in the stomach. So that's why it needs the good teeth. Perché? Perché? Ma sei un barruzzo riso, che ne so? No, perché? Oddio. Perché? Eh, serve pure una buona vista, però non so perché. Perché ci deve... Perché non ci devi No, sempre, perché se sei cieco non puoi portare l'aereo, quindi puoi fare un po' Ma te credo, io non mi affido a uno cieco, questo è un E <laughs> questa è una domanda da un milione di dollari. E perché così può masticare bene, non so. Per poter mangiare questo, questo, questa roba che, che li mangiano nello, nello, nello spazio, che è una roba secondo me abbastanza beh, difficile da eh, masticare, diciamo. Quindi direi per quello. The crew of the ISS would probably mutiny if it had to endure such bad food. In fact, astronauts need good teeth because the acceleration forces and vibrations during a flight into space can be very strong. During the launch phase, an astronaut has to endure a force of up to four times their own body weight. Ill-fitting dental fillings could become loose or fall out, and the atmospheric pressure change may be painful when cavities are present. Once on the ISS, the astronaut stays up to six months in space. To date, no dentist has been part of the crew of the International Space Station. A consistently aching tooth would make the stay very uncomfortable. Of course, dental care is an important daily activity in space. When the return flight is taken on the Soyuz capsule, the landing may also prove to be a strain on the teeth. The capsule depends on parachutes and retro rockets to reduce the force of the impact. However, the speed is still about 10 km per hour when it lands on the ground. The pearly whites should therefore be in perfect condition. Possibly also for the cameras. Good teeth are therefore an important prerequisite to be an astronaut. <laughs>